This is a really nice Jocelyn carbine from the Civil War. Now, Jocelyn made carbines in Stonington, Connecticut, and they made about 16,500 during the Civil War. This one is serial number 7897, and it's only one of a thousand bought by the United States, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute how we can tell that. This was a 52 caliber percussion breech loader, and it was a rim fire cartridge, and it has a great bore with a 22 inch barrel, and it was used by the Indiana, the Pennsylvania, the New York, Ohio, Nebraska, um, cavalry troops during the Civil War, and we'll show you it right now. Obviously, this is all kind of original, untouched condition, as we say in the, um, in the industry. It's got a great look overall. It's got a nice, warm patina. Um, up here on the breech block, you can see the serial number, which is a four-digit serial number, number 7897, okay? And we can tell this is a model 1864 because of the date on the lock plate. The lock plate is right here. And we can tell on the lock plate that it's dated 1864 right here. During the Civil War, the advent of the cavalry carbine, there was a lot of contractors that started making these during the Civil War. Um, obviously, we think of Sharps and Spencer, but there was Burnsides, there were Jocelyn, there was Cosmopolitans, and, and a lot of people just collect Civil War cavalry carbines. And this is an interesting one because um, we know by the stamp on the side of this carbine right here, which I hope you can see, it's kind of faint. That's a cartouche, and the cartouche means that it was actually stamped by a government inspector, and it was basically accepted by the United States government and sent into service by, uh, by the government. So this is one of the 8,000 that was actually purchased by the U.S. government and sent to one of those troops. Um, overall, really decent shape. So the wood's in good condition. I did want to show you up here by the shoulders here. This was a little bit of a weak link. There is some uh, condition issues here. There's some splitting around the tang, which is, um, you know, it is what it is. It's fairly common. Had a really interesting mechanism. You pull back the hammer, which the, the action on this is really nice and tight. Um, pull this lever back and flip it like a trap door, okay? You flip this like a trap door. Now I look down the bore of this carbine. It's got a beautiful bore, really nice, not all pitted up. It's almost like mirror-like. You can see the lands and grooves, really high condition. Um, then you would basically close this up and put the cartridge in and fire away. On the rear, on the, on the other side here, obviously you have the saddle ring and saddle bar. Uh, this would attach to a lanyard, a rope, or a leather lanyard um, while they were riding their horse. In case they dropped it, they could pull it back up, reload, and keep engaged in the fight. Um, has a little U.S. stamp here on the butt plate, down on the bottom. Just a nice, honest Civil War cavalry carbine. I want to show you an example here in this book. Echoes of Glory, Arms and Equipment of the Union. Here's one pictured here, right here, that's uh, showing you how the, the action works right there. And they can also be found on Flaterman's Guide. They made two of these models. They made a 62 and a 64. This one is a 64 model because of the date on the lock plate. But they're right down here on page 625, right? So, Again, a very well-known carbine used extensively through the Civil War, but overall a really nice Jocelyn Civil War cavalry carbine, one that was used in the Civil War, and it's only available here on Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1324, an 1864 Jocelyn Carbine, for only $1,645. Again, that's item M1324, an 1864 Jocelyn Carbine, for the collector-friendly price of just $1,645.